Good morning children. I am Ms. Rita Muthira Chari from Aryanth College of Education, Pune. School's name Saint Joseph Gorpadi, Pune. Standard 7th Subject English. Students, who is the king of the forest? Just think, I know everyone will be knowing the answer. Very good. The answer is lion. You can see her, the picture, picture of a lion. I hope everyone must have seen the movie also. The Lion King, isn't it? Yes, Lion is the king of the forest. We will see K I N D, that is kind. In this story, at the end, you will get to know the Lion is the king of the forest, but he prefers to be kind. So, let's see in this story. Students, observe the pictures shown. Here you can see everyone are trying to help this boy. This man is helping the lady. The lion and the man, they are sitting together. All these shows what kindness. Everyone must have this inculcate this value of kindness okay if we do this surely god will bless us and we will feel happy also so what thought comes when you look at the pictures one is helping hands loving caring kindness humanity all such things will be coming at your mind. Why lion is the king of the forest children? It's because lions are the king of the jungle because of their raw power and strength. Only lion is known to be the king of the jungle because of its power and strength. So, today we will learn a beautiful story of a lion who is the king of the forest and how kindness and friendship is shown. We have seen in the before pictures kindness and friendship. So, this story is based upon kindness and friendship. Unit Pros, Subunit 1.4, The King's Choice. Today we will learn only pages 10 and 11. So read the unit name 1.4, The King's Choice. Let's begin. Children. I want you to remove your English textbook to so page number 10. All we'll do silent reading. You will listen to me. There was a lion who was king of the forest. He was very big and strong and very fierce. What is the meaning of fierce? Take a minute and think. What is the meaning of fears? Meaning of the new word and sentence. Fears means threatening in appearance. Of course children, if we look at a lion or any wild animal, we will what? We will get threatening of the animal, isn't it? 
because they are very big they are very huge and they can harm us so let's form a sentence of the new word fears the lion gave a fierce roar all the animals in the forest called him king they bought him gifts from every corner of the forest king must have a coat c o u r t coat you can see the picture of a lion and the lion is thinking a king must have a coat why must a king have a coat just think about it the king seeks advice and act accordingly as being a king is a complex job it always necessary for a king to have his court to get counsels and rule the country so now you must all know what is a court in the court the king seeks advice and acts accordingly it helps him to rule the country number 1 what is this picture what is this animal ch- children it is a fox f o x fox now let's see about what is a fox fox is known to be wise and clever creature so the lion thought of making the fox his advisor why he is known to be clever and wise i want you to be my advisor the lion said so here you can see picture of a fox and he is known to be a advisor so the lion made the fox his advisor so number 1 animal he called his fox and he made him advisor so the fox told thank you your majesty bowing low because the lion is a king and they have to obey his rules and regulations the lion next called a leopard to his side so number 2 the animal is leopard you can see this picture of a leopard it has black spots so he called leopard you are known to be watchful and swift what is the meaning of swift swift means very fast the leopard has a quality he runs very fast the lion made the leopard his bodyguard so here you can see the quality of a leopard is bodyguard he made the leopard his bodyguard fox he made him advisor leopard he made him bodyguard so he told thank you your majesty said the leopard bowing low the lion then called a vulture so number 3 is vulture you can see this picture students you may all know vulture is a bird let's see the qualities of vulture vulture is a bird and can fly high very high the lion made the vulture his messenger what is the meaning of messenger a person who carries the message so he made the vulture his messenger so number 3 he called the bird vulture and he made him his messenger thank you your majesty said the vulture bowing low
the fox vulture and the leopard took an oath of loyalty to the king students do you know what is loyalty what is the meaning of loyalty just think loyalty means faithful faithful to the king the three courtiers never opposed the king whenever the king roared they stood in awe what is the meaning of a w e of of means great respect with fear so fox vulture and the leopard the three to can oath of loyalty and when the king roared they stood in awe with great respect with fear students now here's a question for you you have to think and reason what qualities are necessary in the following and you have seen the qualities of a fox a leopard and the vulture same thing you have to answer what is the quality of a king he must be loyal faithful number 2 what is the quality of a advisor he must be systematic in all his work what is the quality of a bodyguard he must be strong and fierce and what is the quality of a messenger he must be swift very fast all these qualities please read king he must be loyal advisor must be systematic bodyguard must be strong to protect the king and messenger he must be swift very fast so these are the qualities required for being a good person now children here's the next step of the story very interesting pay attention after taking the oath the king promised to give them food and protection you can see the king here now the king went hunting why to get the food after he had his meal he left the remains for them for whom the leopard the fox and the vulture so they had enough to eat one day a vulture came back from a flight you can see the vulture here it came back from a flight what is the meaning of flight flight means the action of flying the birds plane all these are the action of flying now this is a animal for you what is this animal it is a camel very good now the vulture asked your majesty have you ever eaten a camel it is very tasty i ate it once in the desert who told this the vulture he told to the king the vulture there was a desert some miles away the vulture saw a lone can camel what is the meaning of lone lone means lonely only one not any other animal found there so the lion and his coat started off on the camel hunt what is the meaning of lone being alone 
let's frame a sentence of the new word loan the camel was found loan in the desert so children the vulture came flying and he told the king king i have seen a camel in the desert very far why because i can fly high and i have seen this lone camel he is very fat and he can eat his meat he said to his king so the king told okay let's go and hunt this camel so the leopard the fox and the vulture started off on the camel's hunt you can see this camel here the the lion the fox the leopard and the vulture this is the jungle the green jungle the next morning the lion and his coat started off on the camel's hunt why the vulture seems to be wiser so they said it's the vulture's idea he should lead the way children you can see the vulture is flying and the king fox and the leopard they are following the vulture now let's see what happens next what is this picture here this is a desert dry hot desert you can see only sun is very hot and nothing greenery is there in the lions jungle it was such green area full of green lush and here only cactus are found and only desert you can see none of the animals here only what we can see here camel right slowly 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 they reached the edge of the desert what is the meaning of edge edge means they have reached the border of the desert now here is a picture of a sun the sun shone down with fire hot rays what is the meaning of shone shone it is a past simple and past participle of shine so shine shone shine shone the sun shone down with fire hot rays so the vulture the leopard the fox they reached the edge of the desert they have left the jungle and slowly slowly the king wanted to taste the camel's meat so they reached the edge of the desert children imagine walking from the jungle till the desert how can they come imagine it's so hot so they left the shelter of the forest and the day became very hot the sun shone down with fire hot rays it is extremely hot so here we have to be very sensitive towards the animals living in the desert why because there is scarcity of water isn't it so even if in our area we will find any animal like dog cat any animal we should provide them with food or water i hope everyone will do this so here we can see the animals living in jungle and the 
desert how they are living how they are living their life in search of food and water we have to be very sensitive towards them and also kind towards these animals we should show our kindness why had the lion never seen a camel here's a critical question for you just think the lion has never seen a camel why because the lion lived in the jungle in the forest and the camel lives in the desert so he had not seen a camel so children we have come to the end of this lesson so today we have seen how the lion and his coterie's reached desert to find the camel in the next session we will see more about the camel how the story ends beautiful so students we have seen how the lion he was a king he has made his court and how the vulture took them towards the desert to see the camel and the lion was very excited also why he had never seen the camel before so in the next session we will see how the lion and its courts find the what camel and how the story we have seen the kindness and friendship so in the next session we will see how the story ends in the beautiful that we will see how kindness and friendship brings about a twist in the story so i hope everyone have understood this story there's an activity for you draw a picture of what you have studied today only of pages 10 and 11 use your imagination and creativity what animals how was the before forest and how the desert it was how the animals how they turned how they were tired isn't it because of the hot sun you can draw two pictures and with your own imagination you will create a portrait and you will form a story This is your homework. Write few qualities about the lion, fox, leopard, and vulture. Students, camel. We will see in the next second part. So for today, you will write only few qualities of lion, fox, leopard, and vulture. Make use of the internet. you will also read the lesson pages 10 and 11 you will do silent reading and what are the difficult spellings you will write the meanings in your notebook students make sure you fill the google form and also solve the questions in your notebook first fill the google form then later you can practice these questions in your notebook thank you and have a nice day i'm sure you will be more excited for this story how it ends so we'll meet in the next session thank you and god bless